Well, extremely expensive medical bills for pets. A lot of people simply can't afford to pay the money needed to keep their pets alive. Which is where a local nonprofit comes in to help. Dagmar has more on that. Yeah, and you know, one of our production crew mel members, Melvin Parker, he just told me that his dog, or cat, pet, <laughs> I should find out, dog. dog, was also saved by the FACE Foundation, which is a, a wonderful organization. FACE stands for Foundation and Animal Care and Education. FACE's mission is to help pet owners who are facing a huge economic euthanasia. Basically, that's just a terrible word for we have to put your pet down. So basically, that helps so many people who may have to put their pet down because they simply can't afford the emergency emergency vet bills and the care needed to save their pets lives. Face started really small, but it's growing and recently reached a big milestone. Inside the face offices, these posters say it all. Saved, saved, saved. And this tail wagging success storybook shares even more stories about pets that have already been saved by face. We just celebrated our 10 year anniversary in July and we just saved our 1500th life. This is number 1500, an eight-year-old spaniel retriever mix named Emma. A few weeks ago, Emma wasn't feeling well at all, so her owner, Anthony Zamora, came home from work just to check on her. And when I came home, she had blood all over her backside. Um, and there was a pool of blood um, on her, she has her own couch, and so she, there was a pool of blood there. And I took her to the emergency uh, specialty uh, pet center. The Pet Emergency Specialty Center in Chula Vista determined that Emma had pyometra, a life-threatening infection of the uterus in unspayed female dogs. Emma needed surgery to survive. The total cost of the surgery, though, was well over $6,000. We covered all the diagnostic costs and the hospital stay, but the surgery portion of it, um, that was a lot more money than we actually had. As Anthony struggled with the pain of not being able to afford to keep his dog alive, the emergency pet center told Anthony about the FACE Foundation. And so I was there in the emergency room, our hospital, on my laptop, sitting on the floor, getting every single thing they needed. As soon as the pet owner calls us or emails us, we're on top of it. They submit us uh, some paperwork to prove financial hardship or that they need our help. And our average approval time is two hours. That quick turnaround paid off. Just a few hours after receiving a deadly diagnosis, Emma's paperwork was approved. She underwent an expensive surgery and was resting comfortably, all thanks to the FACE organization. Um, not everyone is going to have that much money um, available, and so they stepped in at the right moment um, to really save uh, our, fa our family member's life. It's true, we work very hard at moving as quickly as possible because the conditions we help with are life-threatening, every second counts. Every second counts and every pet deserves a second chance to live. Thanks to the FACE Foundation, 1,500 pets and counting are living proof. As for Emma, the surgery scars, they're still visible, but as you can see, she's happy, healthy, and now back home. It's awesome that there is an organization like FACE that's out there to help uh, pet owners in their time of need. Uh, without Emma in our life, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be able to come home and, and relax and be happy and um, just have the peace of mind that she's here and, and uh, with us and alive, you know. It's wonderful. Everybody knows those vet bills can be shocking, so thanks to the FACE Foundation. And here's to the next 1,500. For more stories just like this, all you have to do is go to NBC7 and simply search Down to Earth.